just three weeks ago. And like several of the cartists, including last year's world champion Danilo Rossi, be racing in the Monaco Formula 3 event. But first, they've got these races at Yeselo to get out of the way. The lights are red, the lights are green. And straight into the first corner, a lot of bumping and boring there. It's Fisicella from Gianniberti from Orsini. As they pile through the first corner, Manetti right up there as well, but Manetti taking the lead in the number 10 cart from Fisicella in the 33 cart. Massimiliano, Orsini, Iano Trulli, Nicola Gianniberti and Gianluca Beggio. All the Italians up front at the moment. Looking further back down the field, we're looking for Michael Simpson of Britain and Bobby Game. Michael Simpson, 17 years old from Leeds. We've seen some great performances from him last year. Last seen spectacularly leaving your screens at Ugento in the World Championships when he was somersaulted out of the finals. British junior champion. Second at Valence last year. And a fifth and 16th at Valence this year. Now he's moved up into Formula Super A. So Michael Simpson racing down there, but at the moment the Italians dominating the race. It's still Manetti from Fisicella, these two very close friends. Fisicella, as you've already heard, now racing Italian Formula 3, but determined to win the European Championship, something he has a very good chance of doing this year. Alessandro Manetti. Second in the World Championships last year to Danilo Rossi. Third in the European Championships, he won in Luxembourg and he won this year already in Valence at a first and a third that weekend. 21 years old from Rome. Fisicella, 20 years old, also from Rome. He had a first at Valence and it was at Enna Pagusa in Sicily that he won his first Formula 3 race just three weeks ago. So Fisic and there's a that is Bobby Game. Britain's Bobby Game is knocked out of the first race. 21-year-old Bobby Game from Oxford in the house Rotax Vega. He's the British champion. He's come into Formula Super A this year, but he was pushed out very rudely. Will he get back into the race? We'll have to see in a minute. Not a good start for Bobby here. Two races this afternoon as we see Manetti's now lost the lead. Fisicella leading this race. Manetti having some problems, I think, because he is now being monstered by the field behind this man, Giancarlo Fisicella leading, and already Massimiliano Orsini coming through into second place. Manetti suddenly from first to third in the space of one lap, and he's now also being chased by Gianluca Beggio and Nicola Gianniberti. And again, he's pushed down yet one more place. That is by Jano Trulli. So Manetti certainly struggling as he can. Jano Trulli, 19 years old from Italy. He's from Milan. He was 15th in last year's Formula A championship. He had a win in Holland, but a very bad season apart from that. He's driving Tony Kart this year. High tile system. And he had a seventh and third place at Valence. So not a man to be ignored, Jano Trulli now up into fourth place with Minetti being pushed further and further back down the field but Fisicella still leading from Gianluca Beggio Beggio now has taken second place in that number nine cart he's pushed through he was last year's Super A champion when it was still called Formula K had four wins in the championship and he had two seconds already this year in Super A, both in Valence. As Jano Trulli comes through there, again, Minetti attacking back a little bit now. Maybe he's had a, a car problem, I don't know, but he's certainly dropped back a lot of places. And he's also being climbed all over at the moment by number 46 there, Milton Ritabris from Sweden. So Ritabris. We saw a lot of him last year. Had some very useful places. He led three races. He had two second places. As we see Manetti falling back to the back of that group. Jano Trulli there. 
Manetti, Milton Ritabris climbing all over him. And Ritabris, I think, going to try and go through. Certainly getting poised for it. Michael Simpson at the moment down in 15th place. Not a good weekend for Michael. Had all sorts of problems. He was bumped out in his qualifying races. Twice he was spun round by others. But this man at the moment, Giancarlo Fisicella. Well in control of the race, right out front from Nicolai Gianniberti, from Gianluca Beggio, Massimiliano Orsini. Gianluca Beggio, by the way, comes from Monza, 24 years old. He's known as Mad Max. And there is Beggio throwing that cart absolutely sideways. That's the Cali cart, Rotax. Trying so hard to get past Nicola Gianniberti. Gianniberti, seven years, seven years old, 17 years old, we should say. Driving Haas Rotax. He's on Dunlops, one of the few on Dunlops here. He was the 1992 World Formula A champion. There he is in action. Did so well at Agento in front of his home crowd. And he's waved by there. by Massimiliano Orsini. Now, whether he's helping him or not, I don't know. Orsini, 23 years old. He's from Milan. Maybe he has a slight problem there from him. He's picked up speed again, having waved uh, Gianni Berti by. Gianni Berti still in the distinctive colours. We saw him in last year. He's day glow orange and pink. So these two at the moment, Gianni Berti and Orsini, second and third behind Fisicella. Fisicella really coming on this year after a bit of a bad patch at the end of the last year when we saw him throw a tantrum, leaving his cart in the middle of the track in an attempt to try and stop one of the final races, it didn't work, but this series come back and it must be said, this man, Fisicella, is absolutely brilliant. His performances in Formula 3 have certainly caught the attention of some of the upper echelon team managers in motorsport. And I think there's a great future probably for Fisicella, as there is for his other great friend, Danilo Rossi, the world champion last year, who also won his first race in Italian Formula 3 this year. And they will both be battling it out around the streets of Monaco in the annual Formula 3 event. And just look at the way these carts grip. That is Gianni Bertis, Haas, really getting some feel for the road there, cocking up two wheels. And behind them almost ignore Gianluca Beggio, Alessandro Manetti still falling back a little. Not a great race for Manetti. He's running at the moment in fifth place. We expected to see him winning here again. Third and first in Valence, but at the moment he can do no better than run in fifth place here at Yeselo. Very, very hot today. There are the top three. That is Fisicella, Gianni Berti, Orsini. Absolutely superb racing. And just look at that. That is Gianni Berti again proving just how sticky this track is, and there we see it in slow motion. Look at that. And the amazing thing is the cart loses no speed. It loses none of its traction or road holding. A great performance by the young 17-year-old man who finished second in the 1991 Hong Kong Grand Prix. He was the 92 World Formula A champion, and going way back to 1988, he was Italian junior champion. And he's still only 17. So here is Fisicella, 20 years old. Three times he finished second in the Italian Championship, never quite able to win it. And he finished second in the European Formula K, now a Super A Championship in 1991. He's come back with a vengeance this year. He'd love to put this one in his pocket. And at the moment, he's heading for his second win this year. He was 
spun out in the wet at Valence in a very spectacular accident. Classified 21st, two laps to go. So Fisichel at the moment heading for his second win of 1993 in the Bridgestone CIK European Championships, the Formula One of karting. Could this be another Senna we're watching or another PK, another Patrese? 19 of the current crop of Formula One drivers started in karting, did this 100cc kart racing, which is perceived by the FIA as the premier karting in the world. And this is where, if you want to succeed in motorsport and go up the rungs, this is where you come. Next step, Formula 3, as both this man, Fisichella, and last year's world champion, Danny.